So this is going to be a review for Inside Out 1. What we're going to say for the guidelines is we're going to be doing what we liked, what we didn't like, how it's different, and just the general questions. a short questions. overview. Yeah, just of the, the general movie. questions. And if we have a different review uh, rating, I don't. We've never rated on this channel this movie, but we'll rate it today. Yeah, <laughs> Inside Out One was ten years ago, so we're gonna have less thoughts on it than Inside Out Two that we saw today, like thirty minutes ago. <laughs> so Inside Out One is. We see Riley being born, and her first emotion is joy. And she's a happy baby. <laughs> yep, then sadness comes in. She's like, and then there's sadness. We don't know what she does. <laughs> uh, then there's a few more emotions. And Riley's growing up. She goes from a kid. No, she goes from a baby to a kid. I'd say she's like 10. Riley's about yeah. 10. <laughs> not not a teen yet, not a baby. Like I she can think... talk and she's figuring herself out. Yeah, baby to yeah, ten, maybe. maybe ten. So that means we missed three years in the second movie. <laughs> so we're not age experts. <laughs> so what happens in the first is. Basically, just yeah. imagine the second, but it's the first. I'm kidding. No, just you imagine, menace. You just a menace for that. I'm kidding. Just imagine the second, Sorry. but the differences are joy is anxiety. There's no new emotions. The journey is two emotions. Joy is not anxiety. <clears throat> Don't say that. Okay, joy is not anxiety. She's like, she's thinking of herself only for some part of the movie. That's what I mean, not... Oh, it has to be this way. But she kind of relates to anxiety a little. <laughs> so the first is... Yeah, you describe it. I, I, oh man. <laughs> I think it's, it's a little less memorable because that was 10 years ago. I liked Fear's actor better though. Yes. The emotions played out really well. We get to see who they are and what they do for Riley. We figure out Riley likes hockey. And the main plot of the movie is she's moving to... Minnesota? No. San Francisco. San Francisco. What the hell is that? Okay, congratulations, San Francisco. You ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians, now you. <laughs> She's moving <laughs> to San Francisco, but everything is going wrong. So Joy's like, let's think about the positives. You're right, Joy. We could be laying on a floor, laying on the floor in a bag. <laughs> Basically, the moving truck doesn't show up. They put broccoli on pizza, which Riley hates broccoli. Uh, the moving van is delayed another week. And what happens is Joy never understood sadness. So in Riley's head, uh, sadness has the urge to touch one of the memory orbs. And she's like, sadness, you can't touch stuff because we can't turn it back. She touches, sadness touches a core memory. Uh... Joy flushes it out. She's like, you can't flush out a core memory. <laughs> then sadness and joy grab on. They're sucked out of Riley's head. So now Riley can't be happy or sad. I have a theory for the third if it comes out. And so, it's... Sorry. Okay. If we're 13 when we watch Inside Out 2, we'd have to wait probably like eight years no. for the third movie. No, because then we'll be adults. <laughs> If they do that, first off, smart, but also, no. why? <laughs> but you, actually, you are basically an adult. That would be dumb <laughs> to make us wait ten more years. Wait, I wonder what the average age range of the, not the movie, but the people watching the movie was. We saw little children in that movie theater. It was kind of right? all over the place. It was like kids to adults. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so... Back to Inside Out 1. Yeah, I'll try and make this really quick. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, sadness and joy are now flushed out of Riley's head, which means Riley can't be sad or happy. So, disgust, anger, and fear are like, what are we going to do? Riley can't be happy. Oh, I'll pretend to be Joy. None of them can act like Joy. Oh, yeah. What's she ends up past? angering her parents, and they're like, what's wrong with Riley? So they're like, 
you know what? Everything sucks here in San Francisco, and Riley lost all her core memories. I forgot about that. She loses all her core memories, and uh, Joy, so she can't be happy, and she doesn't know who she is. So they're like, why don't we go back to Minnesota and make new ones? Well, that ends up breaking all of her core islands, family island, joke ball island, because you can't trust really... Trust island. Yeah, trust island. Because she steals the money, the money from her wallet. All of her... They're kind of like her core beliefs. Her, her mom's wallet. Her core island beliefs. All those are just getting broken, which means sadness and joy are having a hard time navigating around because... The islands are breaking. Uh, they meet Bing Bong. Bing Bong is her imaginary friend. Yeah, I was gonna say, why isn't they get Bing back Bong... to headquarters I was somehow? Gonna, I was gonna say, why isn't Bing Bong in the second? But then I remember he faded away and died. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> <sighs> By the way, I don't, then... I don't chuckle because it's funny. I chuckle because of ADHD sometimes. That's okay. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter how they get back to headquarters if you want. Go watch the first. It's really good, but not as good as the second. It should be able to rent or own for a very low price since it's a, kind of an old movie now. <laughs> and then Joy and Sadness are back in Riley's head. But guess what? Joy found out it's not about her. Sadness's purpose. Sometimes you can't just act like you're happy all the time. You have to truly sit with someone and be like, I understand you're sad. I'm so sorry. And that's what sadness does. It connects with people and brings people closer together, I think. I think that's what they're trying to show. And so Joy is like, no, we need sadness. So Riley breaks down. Wait, no, I think... She cries and goes back to her house. Yeah, but she doesn't cry yet. Sadness touches the console, takes out the idea of running away, and then Riley goes back to her parents, and they're like, Riley, where have you been? And she just breaks down into tears through sadness. And she's like, I know you want me to be your happy girl, but I miss Minnesota and the lakes and my room and my friends and my hockey team. And they're like, we miss Minnesota too. And that's how they really connect. Instead of being her happy self, because let's be honest, if your kid runs away and they're back like, la 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 la, you're going to be like, why are you happy? Where were you? Why didn't you tell me where you're going? But since she's breaking down crying, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, honey. And that's a really big key thing is that Joy finds out you need sadness in your life. And it's okay to have multiple emotions. Don't shove down emotions. So then they're allowed to touch all the emotions. All the emotion balls? They're allowed to touch Memories. all the memory balls. Memories. <laughs> memory orbs together. Yeah, so, fun. like, <laughs> instead of Riley being happy all the time, now she can be scared and disgusted. Like, there are mixed colors, and her core memories are mixed colors. And Joy is just mo more open to letting other people help. Wait a minute. In the second, do we have all the memories we had, like, from the junk? Probably not because of the first... <laughs> Forget them! <laughs> <laughs> no, those are in the dump and they fade. Okay, one thing I liked in the movie, the triple dent gun <laughs> yes. reference. So it, it came in the second movie! Yes, it did! <laughs> They're like, when did I ask for this? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. We like to send it to headquarters sometimes to make them mad. Hey, let's do it now. <coughs> and I'm like, wait, why did no one have a, an idea to just go through there? Yeah, in the first, I think it's the same idea a little bit as the second. Like, they're trying to run away, and while running away, they find, Joy finds out something that changes the whole movie. Like, in the second, she finds out <coughs> Riley needs to be herself. She is every part of herself. She's the good, she's the bad, she's the ugly, she's the... She is pretty. everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty. <coughs> 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 
In the first, she finds out that she needs sadness. Okay, I think that's going to wrap it up. Do you want to say anything else about the first? Um... Oh, I guess yeah. it's, I guess it's kind of iconic for sadness to say, oh, remember that funny movie where the dog dies? And I'm like, wow, oh, that's just sad. <laughs> um. Okay, so what would you give this movie? I'm I'm just gonna get let you do your rating, and I'll see if I agree. Because I have mixed feelings about this one. Oh, we didn't show the poster. Gosh darn it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I love seeing inside other people's heads, and I like how they continue to do that in the second. You know, because we get to see Riley for 99.9% of the movie. Second Not first. actually, but... Second or first? I don't know. We get to probably, see Riley and learn about Riley throughout the movie, so it's cool we also get to see inside the other people's heads in the first and second. Um, what do I rate this movie out of 10? It's been longer, so I don't care about it as much. So that's why my ranking might be lower. And we Maybe just watched it like four six point five. But if I just watched it, it would probably be an eight. But it's like six point five, seven. Maybe. I'm gonna say. I think six point five is my final ranking. You know what? I agree. Unless the saddest thing is if I'm alone and I didn't watch it with her. It's going to be way harder to rank the movie since the ranking system is so bad. Like, yeah. do I rank it a 10 because it's good? Do I rank it a 9? No, that's too high. Do I rank it a 1? No, that's too low. 2? No, no. It's whatever you think. <laughs> it's just hard. Like, the 5-star rating might be easier. And that's... I, I just... Isn't that what you rate? Okay. We've gone long, we've gone on long <laughs> enough. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified for every video I make. And if you made it this far in the video, then you get to hear who our favorite emotion is. Oh! Mine is not a main, even though the emotion... Yeah, another... Our favorite cool new thing, emotion. Another cool thing is the emotions were more connected in the second. They are like, Joy, you got this. Or, of all characters, it was Anger who said that. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm getting tired. My favorite emotion, newer emotion in the second, is, is embarrassment. embarrassment. <laughs> He's so cute. And I kind of relate with him, like, just wanting to hide sometimes. In if, the I back. Anxiety, I'm shy. if I say anxiety, everyone would smack If I say anxiety, everyone would smack me. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, my can, favorite it can be is... Your favorite. Not boredom, even though he's the Henri. 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 This video is probably going to be 40 minutes long. <laughs> if it is, that's going to be crazy. Crazy, crazy. <clears throat> so, I think my favorite is. Well, I have two. I have Envy, since she's a cool, cute character. And then I have. Embarrassment. <laughs> Embarrassment. <coughs> so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Make sure to uh, and you share this video that. if it takes worthy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye.